Let f of x be equal to 3x squared minus 10x minus 1. At what points in the interval 1, 3 is the value of f of x equal to its average value on 1, 3? Well, let's write down what the average value on 1, 3 means and hopefully we'll be able to understand the problem then. So average value of f on 1, 3. So my book says that would be the integral from 1 to 3 of f of x dx divided by the width of 1, 3, so 3 minus 1. So that would be a half of the integral from 1 to 3 of 3x squared minus 10x minus 1 dx which would be equal to a half of whatever the in, uh, whatever the antiderivative of 3x squared minus 10x minus 1 is from 1 to 3. So antiderivatives of powers are really easy. I can do this one first. So the current power I put up by 1. and I divide by the new power. And this 3 just here is a constant that's been multiplied on so it just stays there like that. Excellent. So that's actually just x cubed. The next one is minus 10x so put the minus 10 stays there. The x goes from x to the power of 1 to x to the power of 2 and I divide by my new power. So 10 divided by 2 would be 5. And finally the last one is minus 1. And any constant just goes to that constant times x, so that's what I get there. So now I put 1 and 3 into this formula and I subtract. So this is equal to a half times 3 cubed minus 5 times 3 squared minus 3 minus... 1 cubed minus 5 times 1 squared minus 1. So let's see. A half times 27 minus 5 times 9 which is 45 minus 3 minus 1 minus 5 minus 1. I'll need a new page to finish this off. So this is what I had on the previous page and so that's equal to a half times well let's see this one would cancel with this minus one so I'd get 27 minus 3 which would be 24 minus so we've got minus 45 and a minus minus 5 so that would be minus 40 so that would be a half uh, times negative 16, which would be minus 8. So that's my average value. So I'm interested in knowing at what points the value of f of x is equal to its average value. So I want to know when f of x is equal to minus 8. So we want to solve f of x is equal to minus 8. So that would be 3x squared minus 10x minus 1 is equal to minus 8, which would be 3x squared minus 10x uh, plus 7 is equal to 0. We want to put it equal to 0 because that's how you solve quadratic equations. So let's see. I would like two numbers that m multiply to give 3x squared. So that would be something along the lines of 3x and x. 
and two numbers that multiply to give 7, so maybe 7 and 1. And if I multiply them across these crosses, I'll get 7x and 3x, which add up to 10x. And so those things they add up to should be equal to this, which is actually minus 10x. So if I put a minus here and here and here and here and here, that will get me what I want. So I have 3x minus 7. and x minus 1 is equal to 0. So that would be 3x minus 7 equals 0 or x minus 1 equals 0. So we get x is equal to 7 thirds or x is equal to 1 and 7 thirds is equal to 2 and a third and both of those numbers are in the interval 1 3 so our final answer is therefore f is equal to its average value on 1 3 at x equals 1 and also at 2 and a third.